So I'm convinced video games are for mediocre Well, I grew up as a gamer. Help me. Help me. My Crocs. My Crocs saved me from the fall. Now, I'm gonna try my hardest not to kick off. To just calm down, keep my composure while we see how these three women discuss males. Males that are into games. Now I want you all to just Cobra Kai, Woosa, and calm down. Make sure you watch this video with a level head. Also disclaimer, make sure you do not send any hate towards any of these girls because if you do, I will find you and I will be very, very stern. And it's not nice to be horrible, so just don't do it, okay? Um, everyone has a right to an opinion, we have a right to ours, and they have a right to theirs. Anyway, <laughs> let's go and watch the video. If you would like to join me, take a seat, Timothy, take a seat. We're all in this together. We are oh, as I said, I've watched like a tiniest snippet of this video, I think the intro, and then I lost my mind and I thought I would share it with you guys, so. <coughs> Cobra Kai, let's go. Okay, so as I said, I didn't want anyone to send any hate these people's way. But I do want us to try and not be too biased whilst watching this because you have to understand not everyone plays games. Not everyone gets it, but anyway. Ah, why am I doing this? Let's go. Let me just set the scene before we get in. So, so far we have three stunning girls talking about how much they dislike this current situation with coronavirus, they can't see their family, they can't see their friends, and how much they despise Black Friday. I think this is where it's gonna start because Black Friday, PlayStation 5, let's go. But participating in that kind of stuff and then watching people trample each other over a fucking PlayStation, and by the way, uh-oh. Oh, okay, here it goes. I will definitely get trampled on for PlayStation 5. I understand you want a game, trample me. <laughs> Uh-uh. Wait, are we getting it? Oh, I don't even mean to, but it just crossed my mind. Like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with y'all grown-ass men running around <laughs> losing your minds over a PlayStation 5? <laughs> a place, a, a fucking, it's called a PlayStation. Y'all are not that serious about doing nothing else. Y'all haven't been that serious about nothing or committed to nothing else. She's, so she's really angry that people are getting angry that they can't get their hands on a PlayStation and they've only been committed to gaming i guess she's saying but that's generalizing in my eyes in my eyes that's a huge generalization there are men out there great fathers great humans great there are men out there great fathers great husbands can still game they are committed to their families and they're committed to their jobs and they're also committed to their game so that sentence <coughs> don't like it already I had a conversation with my mother, like literally yesterday, and she's like, she, she, I'm not on Facebook, so she always gives me the Facebook updates, and she's like, oh, I, I just see uh, such and such, he get, he get the, uh, a play, a play, <laughs> that's so cute, what? a play, so like, I don't know what, it, but it, I guess he, re, I read and all, he comments, oh. I'm like, what is a play, five, that's so cute, like, oh, will you get that, oh. yeah, even her grandma knows the real thing that the play five is something to be hyped over, oh, <laughs> you the man, Yo. oh, you such a great dad. Oh, like she's like going on till she could not grasp the concept of everybody going crazy over PS5. I can't grasp the Wait, have y'all have y'all dated men that were into video games ever? Oh yeah. Yeah, but, uh, but in my oh, really, yeah. 20s. <laughs> she just said, oh, in my 20s. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like it, it was, they were a really disservice to her life because they had a hobby. I'm sorry, lady. Men can have hobbies too. Just like women can have hobbies. She's there with a fresh set of nails on. I think I think sitting there and getting your fresh set of nails takes a good couple of hours. And they probably get that done a week during a pandemic. <laughs> That's commitment. I'll be honest with you, not if I think of the top 10 best dicks I've ever had, they didn't play video games. <laughs> she so I'm convinced video games are for mediocre dicks. Well, I grew up as a gamer. Oh, she just said, 
The top 10 men that she's been with haven't played video games. Their, their penises were good. So because the men that she had sex with, fornicated with, were good in bed, which to be honest, that doesn't set the bar for anything, someone being good in bed. It's not really like a relevant thing. I don't want to get into that, but <laughs> okay. Um, because they didn't play video games, they have good genitalia. However, so to her conclusion, these men who play, who play video games have mediocre dick. Okay then, does that mean I have a mediocre vagina? How does playing video games give you mediocre genitals? How? <laughs> one plus one isn't adding two right now. It does not make sense. This is crazy that people think like this. I. How would, how would we feel as women if we were sat there and men were saying women that maybe did the salon or women that didn't go to the gym or whatever have a mediocre vagina? We would be lining up at the door, fuming, fuming, fuming and angry that we, sh that we shouldn't have to validate ourselves or our hobbies for anyone. There can be no equality ever when people are saying stuff like this. Well, I grew up as a gamer, so it was okay. Okay, so this girl here, she just said she's grown up as a gamer and already the girl in the middle is like, oh, oh, gamers. <laughs> what, what, what else is there to do in the world? Gate, but gaming, like I read, I game, I go to the gym. You know, I don't understand what else should I be doing? <laughs> Oh. With it. That was that was I quite just, a, I just quite don't, right don't, with no, me. I, I got excited no, too. A grown man is spending that much time playing video There's games. There's a lot of grown men spending a lot of time. And on I don't this think bullshit. that there's a lot. I don't I don't think that you could be a great partner or a great lover no, as a grown I, man spending if, time playing video it, games. If you're like me and you're into game. Okay. I'm <laughs> so, so far, <laughs> if you play video games you cannot be a great lover or a great partner or a great father apparently you can't be good at anything if you play video games stating this while sat there with balenciagas on her feet i think I'm not really into fashion like that but i'm sure they're balenciagas i'm sure that's an expensive shoe that you're wearing probably more expensive than a playstation 5 i mean are you not a great wife or a girlfriend because you go and line up for expensive shoes instead of i don't know spending it on food for the kitchen is that what you're implying men should be spending it for the, for, for the fridge <sighs> i don't know what to think let me listen to this lovely woman with the blue hat table was out. born the the new grand theft auto drop with nico bellic and like that was my escape thank you she talks sense it's a form of escapism just like maybe going to the club, popping the bottles, dancing to some Drizzy Drake, dancing to some Melly B Martinez, might make you feel a form of escapism. For us gamers, I mean, I'm trying to speak on behalf of men here, but I'm sorry, there's no difference. For me and for males, gaming is a form of escapism, no matter what gender. Are these girls, these two girls, only under the impression that men play games? Because if these men are bad lovers and have mediocre dick, then I must have, then I must be also be a bad girl and have mediocre down below, you know? And that wow. was our bonding mm. time. We playing Grand wow. Theft Auto. Oh, you were shooting the prostitutes we, and then still the prostitutes she was, she was getting stuff all like the that. We was getting homeless people. She was getting all the homeless people. She was. In Broker, we was, we was, we was, we was <laughs> you know, between feeding, she take. I feel like, are they laughing at her? <laughs> Cause she's not laughing, so they can't be laughing with. <laughs> in a nap, I'm, I'm on vice, like I'm, I'm, that's, that's my vice. That's yeah. Mm. No, I mean, I that's dope. So as a mother, she was in between feeding, using gaming for a form of escapism. But for her as a woman, that's dope. But for men, it makes you a bad lover. Okay. How so, many hours would you spend on that though? Like realistically? Four to six. Wow. A whole a work day? shift? Yeah. All right. Wow. It's a lot I'm of missions. <laughs> the girl <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I don't want my man coming to me like, Man, you won't believe the weapons I got today. 
she doesn't want her man to come to her and tell her about his hobby then she doesn't want him to be excited about his hobby what other thing can he be doing like he's at home playing a game enjoying himself and she doesn't want to hear it she's like no sorry i don't want to hear about you playing a game because i don't like it <laughs> that's quite selfish but again this is her <coughs> opinion and it's valid she doesn't like men who play games because she doesn't want to hear about the games he plays because she hates <coughs> that's valid i don't agree with anything that just came out of this woman's mouth and that's okay because we are all entitled to our own opinions right um it just happens to be that my opinion is that she is wrong no, it's not even. It's not, it's not even just that. It's not even just that. I'm a, I'm gonna speak directly to the failed athletes of America. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Most of y'all are complete trash at 2K and Madden, and y'all y'all are dying. Y'all are y'all are literally spending what should be saved in your account because we don't know next time we get a stimulus check. Y'all are spending y'all hard earned stimulus money on a place on a console a game console and y'all and y'all are trash y'all suck at sports in real life and at the video game i'm so baffled they, by they're that. living their career oh my gosh how ignorant so many adults out there who may have disabilities who live through games may have had hardships and weren't able to pursue that the career they wanted whether that's an athlete whether that's just being able to play basketball on the court maybe they can't play basketball because they they come home from work they say hello to their family and then it's too late to go outside and play basketball so instead they put on 2k and play it like that because they haven't got time because of their family life because of just their life in general people use games as a form of escapism people do live through games why is that a laughable thing like why should anyone be belittled and looked down upon because they live through their games i'm sorry whilst i'm snapping necks on hitman i am living through the game <laughs> <laughs> whilst i'm farming on stardew i'm living through that game i'm finding peace in this different world on, on, on this different world that i'm escaping to yes i would love to be in a world where there's no virus where i can just have chickens and farms and just live freely like that but unfortunately that's not the case so so what if people decide to pick up a game because they live through it and laughing at someone's stimulus check I'm, I'm pretty much aware that my Twitch followers have taught me that a stimulus check is benefits, which means they are not financially stable. We can't judge on what people spend their money on. <sighs> like, I don't understand. Like, I just, you can't, I can't wrap my head around I spending had, six, seven hundred dollars well, on a video to... game. Okay, so you can't wrap your head around someone spending six hundred pounds on a PlayStation 5, but I'm guessing like nails in America costs like $50 a set. That's like every two weeks. And again, the girls were in Balenciagas. What is that, a gold chain on your neck? What's that for? For Instagram, you can understand people wanting to look and feel nice, get their eyebrows done, get their eyelashes done. But you can't understand people wanting to feel good because of a game. But I understand the way she looks. I understand that she wants to get her eyebrows done and hair and wear nice outfits. Even though I don't go to the salon, even though I don't get my hair done, even though I don't get my eyebrows, nails or anything like that done ever, I can understand that she goes out and spends a few hundred pounds a month on that. But she's getting mad that someone's spending a 500 pound on one console? That's gonna last them for years? That's gonna bring them happiness? You are a party pooper! That's what you are! You're not being nice and understanding. Like, okay. you know, it's literally like when the new Jordans drop and everybody is like trying to get it first and be the one to have it first. Like it's it's somewhat of a similar thing with the PS5. They was talking on, okay. on Twitter, talking no, about, yeah. you kind know, because a lot of men yeah. are asking their women for this game. It's like how we treat bags, apparently, they said. Like, damn, men can't want for nothing. But this is something that I guess a lot of men want. So they want their significant others to buy it yeah. for them. I so I guess it's the same I way we I saw my, my friend in his <laughs> IG stories. <laughs> First of all, I'm not asking anyone for any bag. When she talks about a bag, if you don't know, like the, the slang, when someone says like, buy me a bag, it means like, buy me an expensive bag. 
So men can't, so men can't ask for PlayStation 5s, but women can ask for like a 5,000 Louis Vuitton bag. But if a girl wants to gift their boyfriend a PlayStation, if a guy wants to gift their girlfriend a bag, then that's their business. You can't moan about it. Also, I'm pretty sure all these tweets and stuff were memes and jokes. It wasn't serious. Nothing is this serious. It's a game, bro. It's chill. Oh my, my friend in his IG stories <laughs> put his PS5 in 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 a seat belt like seat belt and said right. taking taking my child home <laughs> yeah problematic yeah. that's prob oh, why is that problematic so a guy took a seat to put a <laughs> my friend did this and it was a cool picture they put their playstation with a seat belt and put it in their car like taking my baby home it's a whole joke. They're joking. It's their baby. It's a joke. Yes. <laughs> Y'all gotta yes. do better. Y'all gotta do better. Um, it's problematic and y'all gotta do better. Are men not allowed to have fun? I don't know. It seems that they're not allowed to have fun. Jane, just, what's it's up? It's whack. I just, <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Sorry, Jane. That's she dumb. Dumb. You are so dumb. You are so dumb. <laughs> So glad I got an old man because I feel like uh, when he was I growing up, oh, I think it's hilarious. I, I don't think. Oh, I see. I like her. She she gets it. She gets it. She's cute. I like. They had video games when he was growing up. Oh, so. he don't, you no, know, no, I mean, don't that. he's not that he old. He's he old. not that old. <laughs> Did he have Atari? I mean, he might have had a Sega Genesis. Cause Sega was fire. Don't what forget Sega Genesis or or the original like 94. This is how she doesn't know about her games. If this guy was so old, he wouldn't have had a 64. He would have had something before that Atari. Yeah. Blue hair, girl. Blue hair, girl. I like you. Well, Sega originally came out maybe like the late 80s, but it, it popped off like Sega 92, Sega Genesis 94. was like 92, 90, you know, like 92, I feel like he was out when Game kids Boys, actually went like around. He had Game Boys. Game Boys were cool. You know what I'm saying? Before he they definitely had, had Nintendo. Nintendo okay. Like, that's a given. I, I had who Nintendo. didn't have Nintendo? Everybody had Nintendo. Everybody had Nintendo. He's almost Nintendo 20 years Nintendo older came than out me. in 85. So, yes, he had Nintendo. He definitely oh. had Nintendo. I... I kind of feel sorry for them because I guess that they used to play games and now they've stopped. It's like because they've lost their passion. Um, they don't understand that other people still have their passion for it and it's still a hobby for so many people of all different ages. So I guess it's like a lack of understanding on their part. I'm well, a gamer, y'all. He, so no, he, he, was, he was playing Duck Hunt. Saying. He for sure was playing Duck I Hunt. I love Duck Hunt. Yeah, I see. Oh, a little dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. I wish we could shoot the dog. But no, I always wish we could I, okay, shoot the dog. Okay, I guess dog. I ain't gonna talk much shit then about y'all video gamers. <laughs> I mean, I understand for some people. I just this this the craze around this, especially in the climate that that the economy's in, the okay. way every it's like we don't the people that really have it don't even really have it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I don't agree, but it's hard to take someone seriously on about the craze around a video game. Again, where there's like fresh brows, fresh nails, gold chain, fresh nails, even though Corona and you're not meant to be getting all this done. Like it is a very hard argument to stick by when, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like this is what this is what we doing. Come on, man. Everybody got their vice. Yeah. Everybody got it. their. It's I don't women even think it's. I don't even think it's about. I don't even think it's about a vice. Do y'all do think PlayStation didn't read the room? Is that what y'all saying? No, I don't. Why I don't would think they? It's, they, it's capitalism. They, honestly, we, this, it's this them reading the room live. and understanding that this is the perfect time because everybody is. Yeah. Home. Sorry. I agree. You good? <laughs> Not this net. Not it's the net. The one. I almost got it. I almost got it. You almost got it. I'm a I'm a notorious bug killer. I I, feel, I saw. Oh, we I saw, know we um, talked about the flies. It was I, it was a mosquito. <laughs> oh, notorious. Okay, so it ends that. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so I what I want to say about all that is that I think they're just really misunderstood, and I do think the reason why I wanted to um, touch on this video is that because I think many people have this perception of men who play video games are like bums or. I don't know, I've never heard them say that like a guy has a bad penis before, that was kind of weird. But I do think um, the girl in the blue hat was correct. PlayStation have seen that people are at home sad, depressed, lonely, on the verge of suicide. Like the suicide rates have gone up a massive amount. I'm gonna leave all the links below to like any um, suicide hotlines or if you're feeling bad, there's someone you can ring below. And I think it's something that people need as a form of escapism to make, to give us a bit of normality, to make us feel good. Games for me during lockdown have been <laughs> vital to my life. I don't think I would have got through it as easy as I have. I'm not saying it has been easy, unless I've had my games, unless I've had the conversation about games, 
And I do think conversations like this need to happen. So conversations like this and conversations um, what are going to happen after this video needs to happen because men are allowed hobbies just the same as women like we're all equal we're all allowed to have different hobbies just because we're not the same doesn't mean um anyone's hobbies is less valued than anyone else's just as much as their opinion is also valued if they feel like that about video games if they don't want to be with someone because they like video games that's completely fine in their choice but i do but, but i do think this conversation needs to be put out there i do want to say that if you have a, if you have a hobby don't let anyone make you feel bad for having that gaming is as much as a hobby as anything else and on that note <laughs> i'm gonna go i'm gonna go get some nachos or something because i'm feeling a little bit stressed and i'm keeping my cool for this video <laughs> as i said at the start please don't send any hate their way because everyone is entitled to their own opinion and i'll see you next week for another video but we can't leave without the did 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 cyber hugs Mmm, lovely.